you guys shop at Harbor Freight? Any reason why or why not? I've always found some pretty good deals there, but uh, maybe the next items I'm about to show you, some new items, might change your mind. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. everyone welcome back to better biomed i just got back from harbor freight i went originally for some hose clamps and some other minor details and i found some new products why do they always have new products they always get me they always get me just take my money why some of you guys are, are harbor freight haters and i just don't get it i do i honestly don't get it the company is obviously changing and they're doing some good things and i'm a huge supporter always have been because no matter how bad the company is, they've always got good products someplace, you know, someplace in their product line. Maybe it's just their grindstones or maybe it's in some of their fasteners or maybe it's in their hammers. You never know. But Harbor Freight does have some pretty good stuff. Ghost cup. So anyway, guys, I got a couple products that I just had to buy. And of course, you know, I'm spending the Better Biomed budget because not only are these like valid products that I'm going to use like immediately but maybe you guys should know that they exist all right so let's go ahead let's do this let's take a look all right guys so one of the things i'm most excited about are these little guys right here you guys I, if you haven't seen them before if you don't know what these are these are little magnetic parts holders or uh fastener trays and thing is look at this little guy there's not much to it right Stainless steel, stainless steel means it could also hold liquids, you know, and you don't have to worry about things having other problems. <laughs> but these are, they are magnetic, so you can stick them to things like your toolbox, and you can never have too many of them. Never! And guys, how much do you think this little guy is? This little, little tray right here. It was a dollar something today, and I wish I bought more. I, I should have bought more. I really should have bought more. Guys, these little trays right here are fantastic. If I had like 20 of these little bastards, I swear I would use them because for one thing, most medical devices are metal, or at least in some capacity, maybe inside or something. And although a lot of stainless steel fasteners are not ferrous to the point where they're going to be magnetic, a lot of medical grade stainless steel fasteners are not magnetic, but that's okay because a lot of them still are and nonetheless this is still a really solid method for organizing your fasteners so guys these little guys right here you can stack them up like this if you so desire or you can just slap them right on your toolbox which i'm probably going to do myself if that didn't encourage you ah <laughs> because sometimes you need a little bit more in fact i think that this is such a cool thing now they did it for an aesthetic reason, but for me, it's for an organizational reason, okay? Now they have larger color-coordinated trays. Now these trays are originally color-coordinated to go along with their toolbox line. So you'll get the reds, the greens, the blacks, the whites, etc. And they got all the different colors. And these ones here are only like four or five dollars. <sighs> but what if you use one type of tray with one color to signify what device those fasteners belong to like if this was to a ventilator i would put the ventilator stuff in the red tray when i take the ventilator part and there's no question that these are ventilator parts with the stainless steel ones you can't always do that you just have to kind of be very focused and maybe even uh, use a sharpie or something yourself but these ones here color coordinated now, I know they did it for an aesthetic reason, but it doesn't mean that that's what you have to use them for. You can use them as a method for organizing, which I'm all about organizing and making things better when you take stuff apart, because that's usually where things really go awry. Now, this is an interesting tray because it's green. <laughs> It's green, guys, and it shows up on here like it's black, and that's fantastic. It means I got my color filter on. 
It is what it is, guys. <laughs> but this one, trust me, it's green, all right? So I've got a, a bunch of these. And, you know, between all of these, I've got maybe 10 bucks in magnetic parts trays. What a huge win this is. Guys, at a, especially these ones at a dollar or something, you can never have too many magnetic parts trays. And I'm so excited that they came out with these new color-coordinated non-black <laughs> non trays. What a win. But that's not all, guys. That is just where we're getting started. Those aren't even necessarily new. But the color-coded ones, those ones are kind of new. The next tool is something that I've been trying to get for a while. And I was not really expecting this. I went and I was looking for a better set of needle knives. All right, so it has to be really slender and it has to be strong. But when I found these, I was, I almost lost it when I really seen what they were. And let me, let me go over all the reasons why I think that these are going in my tool bag tonight. So first off, these are very heavy duty pliers. They have extremely comfortable grips, okay? Now these are like $20, $22, or something like that. I will gladly pay that for a good set of needle nose. And there are maybe some quality issues. Um, take a note of the point. I don't know if the camera is gonna really pick it up. The point is not completely symmetrical from side to side. Does it really matter? No, I'm gonna beat the hell out of these. <laughs> that's, that's the dead truth, is I'm gonna beat them up. And they do have that wicked heavy duty needle nose point right there, which is exactly what I needed. But you can clearly see that they got many more things going on. All right, so the needle nose, check. Good set of needle nose that are comfortable that I can really heft on, check, all right? So uh, the next thing about these is that they obviously have a wire stripper. And it's not just a standard wire stripper, it's extremely sharp, right? So take a look at those. They are very sharp and you can see that they are ground to a very sharp point on your wire stripper. Now that is a huge plus because when you're in the field and you're stripping back some cabling, you don't know what you're gonna be stripping back. It could be something large, it could be something small, could be a lot of different things. But uh, the fact of the matter is you need a sharp wire stripper when you're in the field. Uh, at the desk, I've got other options like maybe a hot air station to help me if the, if the insulation is being a little bit of a bugger. But in the field, I need something that is just gonna work every single time. Oh, these are so beautiful. Um, so I do have a 20 gauge down to eight gauge. Yep. And then down at the bottom, there's one aspect of these wire strippers that I extremely love. Noticed right down here, there's a curved jaw. It's a curved jaw. Now the curved jaw, is a huge plus because when you are going to cut something, a traditional scissor jaw is a V and you're working and it wants to eject whatever it is that you're cutting. So you're working against that. With a curved jaw, it traps whatever you're cutting and it makes it so much easier. But that's not even the best part. The curved jaw is one of the things I love when you're stripping back like insulation, like on a cord. So you just grip, grip, grip. Oh, and they're so sharp too. Look at that. Woo. That was beautiful. Let's see if I can get it with the needle nose. Yeah. Beauty. So the curved jaw works really good for stripping back and look how much control that was. I didn't even damage the insulation on this guy. That's. I've never cut anything. I just opened them right in front of you. I have no experience with these whatsoever. And I have that much control where I can strip back a power cord easily. So the curved jaw, when you cut something, it traps whatever you're cutting. Oh, that was so effortless. Oh yeah, effortless, beauty. I love good tools, guys, absolutely. Watch this, I'm, I'm gonna cut this, this cord right back here effortless. Those are fantastic wire cutters and strippers, all right? So I really dig the curved jaws, okay? That is a must when it comes to my tool bag. 
and it's got a sharp wire stripper. I love that. Matter of fact, here, I'll tell you what. Let's see if I can strip back one of these by holding on to it. And let's see, that's what, 14 gauge, or is it not, 16 gauge. There we go, 16 gauge. And I did it while holding on to the wire, which is actually kind of hard to do. So let's try it again, 16 gauge. Boop. Oh yeah, much, much better. <laughs> you get it on the right size, no problem. So there you go. That's the wire stripper part, but it's got so much more. Okay, so the other aspects of this tool are back here, you have a shear. A shear for cutting things um, or bending wires, but mainly for cutting things. So when you're doing solid core conductors, right here, see this? There's the shear, you can see right there. And when I barely squeeze, oh, there it is. Very cool. I really dig that. And it's got one on each side, and they look like they're the same gauge. But uh, if you're cutting solid core, which, uh, you know, if you're an electrician or something, you're going to be doing a lot of solid core because that's your home wiring. But the other thing that this tool has that I really dig is right here in this hole and in this hole you have threads and you have threads because you, this is to make custom fasteners. Now custom fasteners are essential if you're doing, let's say light sockets or something, uh, any sort of normal um, electrical work, if you're working on panels or something, um, you have fasteners that are just like this. They're way too long. And I, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works right on this one because this is a spare part. So. If I need a shorter fastener, then what you do is you figure out how long the fastener is gonna be, and then you screw it in on one side, and on the other side, there's no threads. So what you do is you screw it in, you get to a certain point, and then you just use the shear. Look at that. And now, you unscrew it, and by unscrewing it back through those threads, you're chasing the threads, which means you're cleaning them up. And now, I have a new custom length fastener and I just cut that piece off right there. So let's say I only need a half an inch long. So I'm gonna take that same fastener, I'm gonna put it back in the same hole, which hopefully it goes in the same hole because, there, there. you just gotta be really careful um, because that introductory thread is sheared off. Okay, so let's say I need a inch long fastener. So I'm gonna take it down to about an inch long Look at this, I'm not even left-handed. And it's, they're actually very easy to use, low effort. Um, and now I have a shorter fastener that has cleaned up chase threads. How cool is that? So that's this little piece right here. And the, the piece that's gonna kick out is right here on the backside. So that will just fall free. But guys, that is not all that this set of pliers has. The next thing that they have is a high torque crimper. And by high torque, it's right here as close to the joint as you can get, which is gonna be the strongest and is closer to your hands, which is the strongest. It's, it's, it's stronger than over here on this side of the joint. It's right here. And this is for crimping all sorts of crimp terminals, right? Now I also use this area right here, this flat, which is next to the crimper, I use that for other things, you know, for grabbing on if, if I really have some really high torque situation, like I can grab on this fastener right there. Yeah, just like that. If I need to do something to fix it or whatever. So there you go. So that is the Doyle Electrician's multi-purpose eight and three quarter inch pliers. I love it guys. How cool is that? Crimper, wire stripper, heavy duty cable cutter, screw bolt cutter, and a heavy duty set of needle nose. Now there's multiple tools that are in my tool bag right now. They're gone because of this guy right here in my tool bag. Now let's get to the best part of the show, guys. My best find at Harbor Freight. And you guys might argue with me on this, but this is such a huge win. I wish they had these 10 years ago, would have made my life so much better. Oh, good coffee, I love coffee. What? 
and I'm glad I got blue and not green because this camera does not like green. Guys, this is the US General Medium Ultra Grip Flexible Parts Tray. You see that? This is fantastic. This is so cool. So the US General medium size parts tray. You can put your sockets here or fasteners. You've got multiple fastener pockets. You have an inch scale. I, I don't know what people wouldn't like about this. It's got multiple areas. It is actually, it's flexible, but it, at the same time, it's, it's kind of rigid. Now I would like to maybe put some magnets up here, glue them in or something so that I can slap this on my toolbox and hold it there. But this, when you are taking something apart, it doesn't intrude on your space too much. It's actually kind of small, but at the same time, it's got deeper wells than you see even on my, my silicone mats that I use for taking stuff apart. And sometimes you have like assemblies or something, you wanna lay those assemblies out. And you can do that because it's deep well. And then this item here, you could actually send it off with the equipment and this could go with the equipment so that your screws, your fasteners are all separated. So when you're ready to assemble that device, you have everything you need right there. How cool is it? But that's not it guys. That is only one of them. I, I do consider this a huge win, huge win. It's very durable, about $20, which I'd say is actually pretty good. You get like two of these and that's pretty, you should be set. If you think that was enough, they made a better one. The US General Large Ultra Grip Flexible Parts Tray. Now the Ultra Grip is essential because if you're working on cars, then this here you can slap on it, it's not gonna damage the paint, and at the same time, it's not gonna slip off the vehicle. But for us, for working on medical equipment, ooh, man. There are also instances where you be working on stuff and you do not want your stuff sliding all around. This tray, I was super excited for a whole different reason. And it's gonna be, it's gonna fight me to open. There we go. This one is the jumbo, okay? Deep well, multiple pockets for taking things apart, just like the last one, but it's larger. And you might be thinking, so it's bigger, so what? It's more than that, guys. Have you ever had a device that you're taking it apart and it starts leaking some sort of weird fluid all over the place? You can set it in here while you take it apart so it doesn't get your desk all a mess. Look at that, and you can actually pick it up. It's got handles on it. You can pick it up, you can take it over, you can wash it off, and you're back in business. Just hang, hang it up to dry. It has the inch scale and the centimeter scale on it. It's got multiple compartments for laying stuff out. This guy is a low profile mat, which means if you have devices that could potentially leak fluids or if there's fluids you need to drain, let's say from a water separator or something, this here will roll underneath the casters of a device so that you can just get under there, slide this under the device, open up the spigot or the petcock valve that you know is on your water separator, drain the fluid into the tray, it's low profile, and I estimate that you can hold a reasonable amount of fluid in here. Slide it back out from under the equipment and press on. What a fantastic tray. And if you're just gonna use this to take equipment apart and lay assemblies in here, good for you. It, at least you know that you are gonna have fasteners trapped in an area instead of boogering off across your desk, around the floor, doing the walk of shame. I've been there many times myself, if you have a control board or something you're taking apart, you can lay it right here in the middle and take the screws out. And if the screw rolls off, it's here. How cool is that? And this guy here, I believe is $30. So $30, this one over here is 20 bucks. Look at that, they stack in one another and you are set. I am all about organizing and making things better. But when I seen this big tray and I was thinking of all the possibilities where I could have used a low profile container that's non-reactive because it's not, it's not plastic, it's silicone, which means it can handle high temperature, can handle petrol, it can handle oils, it can handle water, it can handle whatever you throw at it because it's silicone. At the same time, the Mini-Me. The Mini-Me is the perfect assistant for your desktop while you're taking stuff apart to keep those fasteners organized. Guys, 
Harbor Freight is up in their game and it is amazing. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below, please. I love it. Google loves it. YouTube loves it. And thank you very much for watching.